All right, so welcome back. And in this video, we are going to conform our post class um, in order to work with the IG list kit. Now, this can be done in different places. And if you've checked out some of the links that I showed you in the last video, you'll see that this is actually done other places in other tutorials, but I'm going to do this right on the class. One of the things we wanna make sure is that we're able to um, compare items or compare objects. So what we need to do is we just are going to want to add an extension onto this post class that allows us to compare um, two posts uh, and see if they're equal as well as make the post um, conform to the IG list diffable protocol. All right, so I've just said we're just going to do an extension. So I'm just going to say extension to not actually disturb this class. Okay. And it's going to be, of course, this post class. And the first thing we're going to want to do is do an equatable. Equatable. A way to determine if two posts are equal. And of course, let's come up here really fast and just add the import for the IG list kit. We're going to start it by saying, calling a public function. And then we're just gonna pass in the right-hand side. It's gonna be a post, and we're gonna pass in the left-hand side, which is going to be a post as well. And we're gonna re be returning a Boolean value to see if post, the right-hand side post ID, that's how we're gonna tell um, if the IDs are the same, is equal to left-hand side post ID. Okay, now that that's done, what we're going to want to do is we still haven't conformed to uh, the IG list protocol where we're going to just add another extension on the post and we're going to use IG list diffable. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and fill out some of this information to make this conform to the IG list diffable. And we're just gonna say, make it a public, so it's accessible to other classes. And say, diff identifier. And it's going to be an NS object protocol. I'm gonna, and then we'll return the post ID, because that's what we're using to, um, identify these posts I'm going to return it as NS object protocol and that's it so now that we've done that the last thing we want to do is create an equals function so let's go ahead and do that function make it public function is equal to diff object object list diffable and it's going to return a boolean to tell us if it is and I think this may be out of I don't know if you guys can see this let me just enter some just to get that up there okay and I'm just going to do a guard here. Let object equal object as a post because that's what we have. We have a post that we're going to be using. And this is the class. So if it's if we can't get this as an object as a post, then we're just going to return false. Otherwise, we're going to return self dot post ID if it's equal to object. And I think this is just yelling at me again about SD, yeah, SD web image. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and clean this. And let's go ahead and build it. And actually this is going to be a part of that. 
that's what it was. Yep. Had too many braces. So now that we've gotten that all figured out, so I'm going to clean and I'm going to build this. And we're not running anything yet. Let's, let's see what it's post declaration. Ah. We're not running this yet because we won't really be able to see anything because we still have a couple more things to do in our fee controller as well as to create a section controller. We will be doing that in the next video. Um, in our next video, we'll be going back to our fee controller and setting up everything in there. And then the following video, we'll be actually talking about our post section controller or our uh, section controller in general. And um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions or comments, comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.